All right, welcome back to Own The Wire. Today's review is gonna be really exciting because this review is gonna be on my very own product. It's a wireless charger that is the first product in the Own The Wire tech line. Now, we're gonna skip the intros, we're gonna skip all that, and we're gonna jump right in and talk about some pros and some cons. When I designed this wireless charger, I wanted to make sure that I designed something compact and also make sure that it was small enough to give you the best fit for your phone when you were putting your phone on top of it. You're gonna see, if I put this in the center of my palm, how small this wireless charger is. Now, the reason I made it so small is because in the past I would have bigger wireless chargers and you had to make sure your phone sat right in the middle because if it was too far left, too far right, it wouldn't charge. These devices can charge at five watts, 7.5 watts, and 10 watts. Now, I wanna make sure I put this disclaimer out there early. If your phone does not support wireless charging, this device or no other wireless charging device will charge your phone. If your phone does not support fast wireless charging but it supports regular Qi wireless charging, it will support it at whatever wattage it needs. What I did with these is instead of having wire with copper coating and taking the cheap route, I decided to put pure copper coils inside of these wireless chargers. Now these pure copper coils go all the way around the middle so no matter where you set your phone, it is going to charge. All right, so let's plug these up just so you can see how they light up. And that's what they look like. One thing I want you guys to recognize is how fast this recognizes the wireless charging and I'm using an iPhone X. Just like that, it's lit up and it's charging. There was no making sure I set it in the middle or I moved it left or I moved it right. So let's put it on the white one and look how fast it is. It charges like that. Now, the thing about raising these pure copper coils to the top allows me to keep my case on the phone like you see here. And as you can see, it's turning blue on the outsides, letting you know that your phone is charging. When your phone gets to 100%, these lights will turn green. What I also put into the design, because I wanted to make sure that my chargers did not overheat someone's battery, is an auto maintain feature. And what you're gonna see here, not to get into the milliamps and the voltage and everything like that, you're gonna see right here to the right that when I put this on the charger, it fluctuates. And the reason it fluctuates is because when it's giving your phone a full charge, your battery tends to get hot. And so what this auto maintain feature does is it slows the charge down so the battery on your phone doesn't overheat. I wanted to make sure on these chargers that I put a rubber seal around the bottom. Now the purpose of that rubber seal is to prevent the charger from sliding when it's sitting on a desk or a nightstand or anything like that. Also on the cover of these wireless chargers, I put a silicone wrap. I did that so it would assist your phone in not slipping as easy as just a regular plastic cover. Now, with all of those pros, you guys know me, my videos wouldn't be the same if I didn't give you some cons. Now, I'm not going to be biased with this wireless charger since it is my design, but again, this is the first product in the On The Wire tech line, so things are just going to get better. Now, con number one, I wanna give a big shout out to one of my good friends, Eric Freeman, who has a Facebook page called Oxygen where they talk a lot of Android over there. He tested this out for me and he gave me some quality feedback. Some of the feedback that he gave me is that he currently utilizes a Google Pixel 3 and he has the wireless charger from Google that came with the Pixel 3. With that particular charger, he was getting around 16 to 1800 milliamps and his phone was able to charge in less than two hours. Now, with this particular charger charging the same Google Pixel device, it took around three hours to charge that device. Now again, you're talking about a Google Pixel charger and the Samsung wireless chargers that cost 80 to 90 dollars. Mine is running at $35 just so it can be affordable for everyone to enjoy wireless charging and still get a fast charge. Now, with that said, let's jump into con number two. Now, this isn't a big con, but it's just something that applies to any device that you have, either if you're charging your phone with the regular cable or you're using wireless charging. With this particular charger, I wanted to make sure that I included a long cable. So this cable sits at three feet. Now, with this particular cable, and not to get too techy here, this cable can handle up to 2.4 volts. The more power that your charging cable can handle, the faster your devices are going to charge. Now, with all of those pros and cons, these are only going to be sold on the Onda Wire website. Now, I'm gonna put a description for the website below, which is ondawire.com, and while you're down there, 
hit that subscribe button. Again, I'm producing these charges because the whole mission of me creating a tech line is to have quality products that everyone can enjoy. Now, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Again, this has been another production from On The Wire. I'm out.